101. The perfect place to go and have some fun. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Steph here and today we are on board the beautiful Royal Caribbean Navigator of the Seas and today's video it's a fun fun video. It's gonna be my top 10 cruise tips guys. That's right top 10. I've got plenty more but I'm trying to keep it at 10 so these videos are not four hours long but you guys seem to enjoy the content that I posted uh, Steph's top 10 travel tips. If you haven't checked that video out go back and watch it but this video is all about my top 10 things that I just cannot do without since working at sea for almost 12 years. I cannot believe it has almost been 12 years. Anyway for those of you all that are new to my channel welcome to the shenanigans. I am an entertainer for Royal Caribbean. I I do a tribute to the wonderful Miss Whitney Houston. It's actually show day today. I have my shows today. And guys, we got new gowns coming up. Wait till you tune in to the next backstage sea pass, honey. Honey. We have taken it to another level, guys. Oh my gosh, wait till you see these gowns. But this video is not about... <laughs> the gowns you have to tune into the next video which you guys have already matter of fact what's up guys welcome back to my channel please comment and like and subscribe and turn on your notifications 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 that's right guys turn on your post notifications that way you can see the brand new gowns in the next backstage see fast anyway let's hurry up and get into my top 10 cruise tips things I cannot go without guys I spend pretty much half of my life living on a cruise ship that's right I'm not like your regular passenger that just comes for a week at a time I've been doing this for 12 years and before I was a headliner I used to be a production singer so I would live on board these ships for six months straight and I did that for almost two years guys so I'm sorry almost five years I did that so I really had to adjust and I uh, learned how to live on these cruise ships comfortably without packing my entire life so let's get into tip number one come on okay tip number one you're gonna want to get you a comfy travel blanket the sheets are cool on here but there's nothing like your sheets at home you know when you just lay down and they're that perfect thread count that you want or it smells like your fabric softener so bring you a comfy sheet and you can just put it right on your bed and my cabin steward is great he puts it right underneath the sheet so I always sleep under this comfy cozy blanket okay so that is tip number one bring a comfortable blanket to sleep on and tip number two you're gonna want to bring some satin pillowcases guys the pillowcases again it kind of you know falls into tip number one the pillowcases are cool here but it's nothing like having a cool pillowcase to sleep on at night and for ladies that wear our protective hairstyles and we don't want our hair to dry out even though you're sleeping in your body anyway it's just nice to have comfortable silk um, satin pillowcases whatever you prefer and they're lightweight and they fit right in your bag so get yourself some wonderful comfortable doesn't that look like you just want to go to sleep oh. <laughs> anyway satin pillowcases I cannot do without them all right tip number three I know you're like why are you sitting on the floor in your closet but this is a junior suite so we get a walk-in closet so I can sit in here the reason I'm sitting on the floor is because tip number three is your what collapsible laundry basket this thing is a life saver okay you just throw it, it flattens up I'm not gonna do it now because I got stuff in here. Flattens up, you throw it right on top of your bags, uh, your suitcase when you come, and then you don't have junky, dirty clothes all over your room because it's a small space. Even if you have a big room like a junior suite or a suite or whatever, you still just want a place to put your dirty clothes, especially if you're traveling with kids. You know what I'm saying? And then at the end of your your cruise, excuse me, you just throw it in your suitcase and then you pull it out when you get home and throw it straight in the washing machine, you know? So definitely I've learned to have a collapsible laundry basket, okay? Tip number four, you're gonna wanna bring a multi USB 
charger. This is the one I use. You get four plugs. And you guys know why you need to have one of these. I don't need to, you know, say this. The only plugs you're going to have when you come on the ship are plugged into your mirror. And luckily, this cord is really long, so it extends all the way to the bed. And yes, they have the USB chargers in the phone, but you know we live in the day and age where we have iPads, cell phones, laptops, uh, kids got iPad, you know, especially if you got kids traveling, you don't want to be without your um, charger. So this is a Belkin multi USB charger and I love it. I do not leave home <laughs> without it, okay? Oh, hello. <laughs> Tip number five. Bring your own water bottle, guys. This is a hideaway collapsible water bottle. I talked about it in my uh, travel tip video, but you wanna have your own water bottle when you come on the cruises because who wants to be bringing a whole bunch of water bottles with them? I see people carrying them on board and I'm like, that's cool, but that's really bad for the environment. Secondly, let's say you get thirsty in the middle of the, middle of the night. You, wanna, you, you can easily go downstairs to deck five. They've got plenty of water available 24 hours a day. Fill this thing right on up. Cause you, you always, I don't know, I like to sleep with water next to my bed. I'm just, if I go to sleep and I don't have water in the room, I'm like freaking out. Is anybody else like that? Comment below. Anyway, definitely bring your own water bottle. And this thing collapses. It folds up like a little slinky. It's super cool. It'll fit right in your purse. That way, even if you're off the ship and you just want to get some water or j just bring a collapsible water bottle, okay? Mm-hmm. Tip number six. This is a wonderful Febreze little miniature air freshener. And I can't remember what odor this is because I threw the package away, but um, this, it just, I like, I told you I try to make my room as homey as I possibly can. And I'm very much so into fragrances, guys. This will smell your whole room up. It will smell so, so good because there's nothing like, you know, this is like a hotel. M multiple people stay in here, you know what I'm saying? And I just like to have things smelling fresh and clean. Oh, and it smells so, so good. Even It gets into the bathroom, like this thing is awesome. So you definitely don't want to leave home without your own little small air freshener. Mm -hmm. This is fun, guys. Tip number seven. Bring your own portable speaker. This is my Bose, um, I forgot what it's called. Oh my God. Bring a small speaker. I'm not advertising for Bose. Bose isn't paying me any money to, you know, talk about this stuff yet. But um, I believe that's a rhinestone that's in there. <laughs> anyway, bring your own portable speaker. It's nothing like being on a ship and not being able to listen to your jams, you know, when you get dressed in the morning, when you come back in the room. You're on vacation. You want to party. Now, remember that the walls are thin, so don't be playing this stuff loud, you know, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning like you do at home. But it's definitely nice to have your own portable speaker. Plus, you can take it with you to the beach when you get off the ship in Coco Cay. They got an island called Coco Cay. In the Bahamas, you can spend all day. Anyway portable speakers are great plus if you're watching TV on your iPad or your phone like I do all the time um, sometimes you don't want to put your headphones on or your earbuds on so it's just nice to have a little portable speaker okay so I don't know if anybody is like a late night snacker like I am but I always have to have something to munch on like something because who wants to order room service when you get hungry and pay like $10 or whatever for room service? You know what I'm saying? So I just started bringing these with me because I'm a health, like I'm not a health fanatic, but if I'm snacking, I would much rather it be healthy. That way I don't feel guilty for whatever I eat during the day because you're still on a cruise. But I found these. They're little That's It um, one apple and mango and all that's in this is apple and mango it's just fruit that's in here 100 calories and they taste really really good and so I keep those in my little drawer next to my bed and if I get hungry in the middle of the night instead of having to go downstairs I'll just have one of these so bring snacks healthy snacks if you can help it okay <laughs> number nine keep fruit in your room there's fruit available all the time you can go down to the cafe promenade grab you some oranges apples kiwis bananas or even take some from the buffet 
Oh, that's my mom saying break the leg tonight. Thanks, mom. Um, but it's just good to have fruit in your room. Just, you know, to keep things regular, keep things moving. It's a great snack for the kids if you're cruising with kids. It's a great thing to munch on first thing in the morning so you don't go to the buffet and just pig out. Even if you want to pig out at the buffet, it's just good to eat fruit. It's another healthy snack that you can have um, in your room. You know what I'm saying? So, And the apples on here are really, really good. The green apples on the Navigator, I have been enjoying munching on those, okay? Last but not least, this is more so a cruise tip that I recommend for all of you. Do not try to do everything on the ship. Like, I do not like vacation with people that have this itinerary written out. Okay, we gotta do this, we gotta do tribute, we gotta do scavenger, we gotta do this, this. Like, that would stress me out, which is one of the reasons I don't really do big group vacations, because people come and they wanna do this and they wanna do that. That's why solo cruising is fun. Even though this is my job, I probably would solo cruise anyway, just because if it's my vacation and I'm paying this money to be here, I definitely want to do what I want to do. And I get it, some of you guys have kids and the kids want to do stuff and all that, but they also have a great youth program, Adventure Ocean, you know what I'm saying? So on those times where you've dropped the kids off for the day, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Remember that you're on vacation and when you leave the ship, you're gonna go home to reality. And so the number one goal of your cruise should be going home feeling relaxed, feeling refreshed, you know what I'm saying? So just remember there will be other cruises, there'll be other opportunities for you to do these things. You don't have to squeeze things in, you know, um, squeeze a thousand things in in one day. And I know Royal Caribbean gives you a lot of things to do, which they're very, very good at. But you don't have to do everything especially if you're on one of these short weekend cruises like just chill even you know schedule a nap a siesta you know what i'm saying as long as you go home feeling refreshed and relaxed that's going to keep you cruising and want to go back you do not want to stress yourself out guys okay guys that's my time i hope you have enjoyed these top 10 cruise hacks i certainly enjoy sharing all of these tips with you if you have any cool cruise tips make sure you comment below thank you all so so much for tuning into my channel we are doing so well 1804 subscribers i can't wait to do my whitney show tonight with my new guest <laughs> anyway make sure you comment and like and subscribe and turn on your notifications 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 i will see you all in the next video i love you Thanks. the lady still thanks you for watching